Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I want to show you very briefly the changes that have been made to WhiteHouse.gov because I think they're very substantial changes and they're an indication of where the market is right now as far as web design goes. So, all through the Obama administration, the WhiteHouse.gov website was run using a Drupal platform. And actually, I can show it to you right now. If I go to this link right here, you can see this is the old Obama website. And the old Obama website is a Drupal website. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it has a clean look to it. Um, it's just a Drupal website. So sometime right around, if I go here, sometime right around uh, December 13th, that website, which was, it's, it was still the same Drupal website, but it had just had all Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump's stuff put into it, basically. Uh, went from this, you know, President Barack Obama, to this, where it was uh, President Donald J. Trump. So it's still the Drupal website on December 13th, 2017. And I'd like to give a huge shout out right now to the Wayback Machine, which is an internet archive. Uh, you go to waybackmachine.org and you can literally see the history of any website from its inception till now, as long as there have been captures made along the way on, you know, through this archive. So right here you can see December 13th and then December 14th is the day that, um, that the Trump administration switched over to this new platform. So let's look at the new platform. Here it is, whitehouse.gov, and it looks very familiar. It should look very familiar to anybody who watches my videos. Let's just do our little scroll like we do. Okay, we're scrolling through, and <clears throat> I think it's pretty obvious that they've switched from Drupal over to the WordPress platform. So. The um, Trump administration said something about how the switch from Drupal to WordPress was going to help to um, minimize the costs associated with maintenance and upgrades and while also providing a more secure website. But I have to say, some of the skeptics of the new design have said that it's a little bit harder to find information in this website. So I'm really familiar with, with WordPress and I would just do a search for whatever I was looking for. Here's the hamburger menu. Here are the sub menus right here. And then along the top we have that very, very familiar WordPress banner. Right here is a little White House logo that they're using. So you know WordPress would always have like a business logo right there. And what they've done is they've just put the little White House logo there. It's like a little home page. So in here you can see when you're in this website, it's just so obviously WordPress. I mean, any web designer looks at this and it's just so obviously WordPress. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a very, very typical WordPress theme. In fact, like, like I always do, why don't I just go right here and I'll just show you very quickly. We'll do a quick inspection of the source folders and find right here the WP-content folders indicative of any WordPress website. So themes uh, slash White House, okay? So very interesting that mid-December, you know, December 14th, 2017, the Trump administration switched everything that the White House was doing at whitehouse.gov over from Drupal to WordPress. So I'm actually completely on board. I think it's a pretty natural progression. Um, of course, WordPress is easier to maintain and upgrade. Probably a one-man crew can keep this website at least upgraded, maintained, and updated to the level that it needs to be so that a whole, there's a whole staff of people inputting content and keeping the, the different categories of the website fresh. So what I'd love to do very quickly is just show you, um, we looked at that old Obama website. I want to just show you for fun, what did the old um, Bill Clinton website look like? So this was the old Bill Clinton WhiteHouse.gov website. Kind of cool, just I love to see the old retro websites. There's a kind of a new trend to uh, forming where someone might create a website in this retro look for, for a number of reasons, you know, you might do that. So, and then just for comparison, I wanted to sh uh, show you what the Bush administration did. So this was President George W. Bush when he was in office. So you can see a little bit more modern, but again, it's not these new responsive designs that we have now where they needed to be available on phones and tablets and everything. It wasn't like that back then, if you remember. You would only go to this website on a computer. So, so and then a full circle all the way right back to 
the Trump administration and this new WordPress build right here, you know? So, and I mean, the key with this WordPress build here is that uh, it's a responsive design. So you can see here, completely responsive design. It goes to hamburger. Hamburger goes to the other uh, categories. And you could view this website on your phone just about as easily as you could on a tablet or, or any other device. So it's pretty cool. So thank you so much for coming back, you guys. It was fun to look at the whitehouse.gov websites, the progression, uh, the new CMS that they're using called WordPress. We looked at the old CMS called Drupal when the Obama administration was running that website. And then we just took a quick peek at the, at the Clinton and the George W. Bush websites when they were in office. So... Have a great day. Thank you for coming back. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd be so kind. Check me out on Facebook and you can check me out on LinkedIn. Reach out to me anytime if you have any questions or you just want to chat about technology and web stuff. I'd love it. Have a great day. Bye.